presentation i am going to describe on very good option strategy which you can initiate post one big correction or post one big rally so why this particular strategy so we should initiate much before the or one week before the next settlement cycle starts and it has specific technicals to follow also so this particular strategy option strategy benefits when there is no trigger for the market to move and when you expect an consolidation to happen after a fall and if you expect that iv has to fall after a after some days so that is one of the these are the expectations if you have from the market then you should form this kind of strategy and one more very good parameter for the nifty you can see when the pcr the put call ratio varies between 0.95 to 1.05 so this time also you can form so this pcr of 0.95 to 1.05 suggests that you expect a narrow price movement post a correction or a rally very narrow price movement will be there so for that expectation we are forming this strategy so name of this particular strategy is the short ratio call spread and put spread so together you have to take so say we are at 10570 or 80 level in the march series nifty future is at 10580 i am telling you to buy one 10500 call option and a put option and a put option at the price of 246 and 157 each one lot each one lot so post purchasing this strategy you will be selling one nifty 10100 put option two lots at 68 and you will be selling 10900 call option two lots at 61 so you must ask me why this 400 point gap i have taken 10100 or 10900 so my objective is to make this thing as a delta zero so delta should be zero so here whenever i am choosing this 10500 call option it has a delta of 0.77 0.77 and i am getting this 10500 call option and 10900 call option is almost having 1.36 or 0.37 as a delta so this is two i am selling so by this process i am just making the delta to 0.72 to 0.73 so this is 0.7 so it is well getting neutralized or almost zero and similar way for the 10500 put option i have specific delta and that is neutralizing with the 10100 put so by this process what we did the entire trade has happened 10500 call option and put option each one lot you bought 10100 put option two lots you sold 10900 call option two lots you have sold all both the things in the march contract march contract we have done it so we are in the end of the february contract one more week is left for this february so march month is not started so we have just done these things so some theoretical assumptions we will first we will analyze the theoretical profit and loss then we will analyze the practical way what the software suggests say at the end of march nifty is expiring at 10100 this is just a assumption we do not know where it is going to expire so if it is expiring at 10100 this 10500 put option what you have bought at 157 taking out all time value from it it will be having a intrinsic value of 400 i will less 157 i bought it so 243 is the profit in the 10500 put 10100 put i sold at 68 so if it is expiring at that so that 68 into 2 will be my profit the call option which i have bought at 246 it will be at almost zero so this will be a loss for me 10900 call option what i have sold at 61 rupees average that also will be a profit so if the nifty falls down and comes to the 
So if I add all these things, 243 plus 136 plus 121 minus 246, I'm getting total of 254 multiplied with 75, 19,050 as my profit. Same way, if the Nifty goes to 10,900 by March, March expiry. So these are the things again I have analyzed. So put option, I have bought at 157, it will be completely at loss. 10,100 put option, what I have sold, there I will be getting 136 rupees as a profit. 10,500 call option, which I bought at 243. So this will be 400 if I can just make it. So call option, which I have bought at 246 rupees. So 246 rupees, so it will be having 154 rupees as a profit. I am just taking intrinsic value, no time value. I am telling that on the day of March expiry, this will be the head of the strategy. So 10,900 call option, that too also will be at a profit. So that also comes to the same figure, 19,050. So this will be your maximum theoretical profit. Theoretical profit whenever we say, that means the time value of, of the options will be at zero and whatever the real intrinsic value that must be taken into confidence. No time value is present. So that's why this is called as theoretical. Even one hour before the expiry also you will have specific time value. So this is for the 10,100 or 10,900. So there is an extreme call. Currently we are at, when we are initiating this strategy, we are at 10,580 level. Or there is an extreme bounce back. So extreme rise of 11,200 I am putting, so you can say 700 to 800 point rise. Again, I am also similar 700 to 800 points fall if I am just giving. And taking that expiry, 9,800 or 11,200 as expiry. I am just getting if there is a fall 9,800, my loss will be 3,450. If there is a rise to 11,200 also, my loss will be 3,970. So risk reward as per theoretically. So 19,050 maximum profit on theoretical basis. 3,500 to 3,900 is the maximum liability. Theoretically, considering all time value to be zero at this point of time. So this strategy must be initiated when you have 0 0.75 to 1.05. March month, it will be having currently at 0.75 level, the options are having a put call ratio, which is 0.75, it is in the various zone. So, so we have just initiated this particular strategy and we are expecting there is a very narrow price movement can happen. So this is the objective of forming this particular strategy. So see that same strategy, if we are going for to form in our option strategy builder. So you have a quick planner which says that 10,500 call option, currently having 0.77 as a delta, 10,900 call option, having 0.33. So two lots we are selling. So 0.66 minus 0.77. So 0.11 delta positive you have. And here to 10,100 put, having 0.15 negative delta and 10,500.33. So here also almost zero and here 0.11. So net delta on real time basis, if we can see, it is giving us 0.15 is the net delta, slightly positive delta we are getting. We can still adjust the strikes. We can go for 10,600 strike and call and the 10,900 call. We can adjust that also. That also we can do. So once we are doing this, if it is from the coming eight days period, it is moving at the range of 10,800 to 10,700, 600 or 500 to 522, 10,522, 10,800. We are at small profit. Once we are crossing 10,996, 11,000 range, we are at a 3,700 loss. Same way, once we are falling below 10,350 or 382, so we are at small loss, it is going on and it, this loss is increasing. 
this based on the current iv so currently what about the iv is there so what about the iv is there which is pretty weak here so 10500 call option 9% iv 10900 call option also 9.84 however in the put side you have a bigger iv 20% iv and this 10500 also having 17% iv so ivs are more that's why we are getting this kind of things once this iv will decay now call is having almost 10% as average iv for call and put is having average iv of near to 20% puts so in this particular situation in this particular situation put ivs are very high as compared to the call ivs and that to also 10% 20% band if this iv falls down to say 6 to 7% range or this iv fall down to you can say 7 to 9 8 to 9% range in the put then also this profit parameter can change and we can get somewhat bigger profit and i am just going for 8 days period so this particular strategy is highly useful in this kind of market and you should initiate when there is a great fall or a great rise already happened so you can say from 11200 level we have fallen down to 10380 level in the nifty and currently we are at 10570 level so this is the situation in which we are initiating this strategy this is a great correction we expect some amount of consolidation to happen there is no trigger The result session is over. Most of the RBI reviews, reviews, everything is over. March we do not have much trigger in the market, so we are forming this thing, and that is a great expectation of a fall in the IV, and this requires some one lakh sixty thousand around the margin. If on the threshold of ten thousand one hundred or ten thousand nine hundred we are expiring by the margin or profit will be phenomenal and if we are just oscillating in this band of 10800 900 to 10300 range for the coming period of 10 to 15 days and that will result the fall in the iv that also our profitability also can increase so this is a strategy keep following keep initiating 1160000 margin having a 10 to 15 days period of maximum expectation of 19000 and great risk reward so you can think of initiating this strategy and this kind of when to form what kind of strategy this is very important as a option strategy trader you must know that when to form what strategy there is a correction how i can behave there is a higher iv in specific counter how i should behave what kind of strategy i should initiate so if you wish to learn all those things you can get our futures and option course which will cost you 2000 rupees and if you are thinking that s yes, learning valid concepts can help me to be a successful trader you can procure our full package which has six unique courses along with all our advanced softwares one standard deviation software to option strategy software and android apps also couple of softwares are also available in the android app format so if you just wish to buy both the things you can buy at a discounted price of 17500 plus 990 and gst if you think that is learning valid concept can help me that and this particular strategy what i have explained to you this particular strategy you can initiate in many different counters many different counters suppose specific heavy weight counters those who are not much volatile say reliance say reliance and say you can say infosys you can say tcs all those heavy weight counters also based on their trend you can say and if you just club this thing with the one standard deviation it will be the great strategy you can form similar strategy also you can looking at the one standard deviation trend you can form in the bank nifty weekly options with on some 500 600 point gap so you can also 
get benefited every weekly basis. So, for that, you must learn those concepts when to initiate this particular strategy, when not to initiate this strategy. So, that requires some good learning, also is required. So, if you are interested in such kind of strategies, better spend some time to expertise this course. It is a 14 hours of audiovisual course which will help you a lot to understand many strategies. Any query related to our courses and softwares, you can call to our sales number here and they will help you to identify the correct product for you. If you are viewing this particular video in the YouTube, in YouTube, we upload these videos if you are viewing this particular video in the YouTube. Try to share with your friends so that they should also take the benefit of this particular analysis. They should learn specific things of the analysis, when to use what kind of strategy. Just if you hit in the share button and you can just share with your friends. You can also give a like if you like this video and if you are Think that yes, it is a good stuff I have learned from Smart Finance. Then try to give a like here. Share with your friends. So they should also learn about this strategy. Any query, further query regarding this particular strategy. Any further query if you have, you want to explain about this strategy, you can write us the email, you can post an inquiry. You can also follow us in the Facebook or Twitter and give your opinions there. So many ways you can connect with us. You can also register in our website so that we will also send you the emails whenever we have released such kind of video. And if you are subscribed to, subscribing to the YouTube channel, so the subscribe button is here. If you are subscribing to the YouTube channel, whenever any video will be uploaded, it will be automatically intimated by the YouTube. So by this process, you will be stay connected with us. You will be learning very unique principles of trading. And by this process only, you can make yourself successful in the trade. There is no definite method to project the future. If, if you are hunting that day, someone should tell me after 10 days where the Nifty will be, then there is no such method. Nobody knows where the market will go. Market is supreme in all. Only one thing we can able to do, we can calculate specific trends. We can plan our trade according to specific technical parameters. If that plan works out, we'll be successful. If plan fails, then we have to accept the losses incurred by the plan. So we have to look into our risk reward parameter. If the risk reward is pretty good and if you are getting at least 50-50 success and failure, then also you will be successful. Say in this kind of option strategy, if you analyze and initiate some 10 trades in a month and 5 trades successful and 5 are failure and this kind of risk reward if it maintains and you can say only 50 to 60 percent of this reward you are getting and 50 to 60 percent of the risk once it comes also you are exiting and 50-50 success ratio is there. So you can say five trades if you success with an 8,000 rupees profit, I'm just taking 50%. So 40,000 you made. And five trades you fail with 50 or 60% of your failure. So 2,000 2, or 3,000 if you lose in that trade. So five trades is 15,000 rupees you lost. So 40 minus 15 is you can say 25,000 you gain out of this particular activity. So this is how the option strategy helps you. So if you buy this particular idea, if you think that yes, this idea is having any realistic approach, then without any delay, try to learn the option strategy. This course is going to help you a lot and we will give you a complete support system to help you to understand these strategies. Thank you.